Yo, what is good YouTube? And in this video, I'm going to show you the value of having a diverse offense, especially if you're the type of player that doesn't necessarily have the best stick skills. Having excellent stick skills isn't the only way to achieve success offensively in NBA 2K23. And I'm going to show you how the combination of improvisation, using freelancers, running plays, being strategic and knowing two-man actions in NBA 2K23 can get you as much success or even sometimes better than if you were a stick god who didn't necessarily know how to run the five-man game. So I hope you enjoy this video. This video talks about the diversity of your offense. We actually had some good gameplays yesterday against endgame KDs. Unfortunately, I ran into some network issues, got a few disconnections, but I got a few games in, so I hope you enjoy this one. I think this is the best example of diverse offense execution. All right, he doesn't have a lineup that concerns me too much. He's got Rick Smith and Artist, which means he's been playing Unlimited for a while. Yep, checks out. But let's see what we can do. My goal in this video, not so much on the isolation sauce, but to show you how. Let's first get these two points out of the way. Put some paint pressure, let him think a little bit of how we're going to attack him. So my goal for this video is to show you how a diverse offensive bag is all you need. You don't need the stick skills. You only need to understand how defenses play you. Let's see if you can get this backdoor action. Nope. Tim Thomas right there, out of the freelance, pick and roll. Great stop. He's in deep drop, not willing to help. We attack that defense. Easy offense out of the freelance. He was running zone. I had to do it. He was running zone. See, that's why the first possession was important. Make these guys think that all you care about is rim running. Now that opens up our perimeter game, I'm right there. Drag back, speed boost. Nope. I'm right there. Helps right there. Okay, that's Sean Kemp being Sean Kemp. Okay. His main offense out of one and one plays. This is the drag back speed boost. I want AK to curl out of this. Closed out. Just give him that hezzy. There we go. Just give him that hezzy. Give him that hezzy. Just slow the pace down and they're going to beat themselves. He didn't need to jump. He didn't stay disciplined. Opened up an easy dunk. Different looks out of that play right there. Okay, I'm right there. Got caught, but I'm still there. I'm still there. I'm there. Nope. 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 Can you hit that? Yeah, no, no. I'm willing to give him that shot initially just to see what he can or can't hit. Okay, let's get Devin Booker out of this screenplay. Attacked off the catch just because they're... Just because they're worried about Devin Booker shooting that three-point shot. It's a bad defensive read. Get AK here instead of driving. Let's see if he can get a three-point shot. Yep. Failed fast break means a push. Step back. Nope. Handoff here. Another handoff. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Another handoff. And then let's hit him with the screen. This is the improvisation part I'm talking about. Deep drop. Easy pull up. Put him in multiple actions. Those are two handoff plays into a pick and roll. That will scramble the defense, man. I'm right there. Drag back. Okay, I thought he was going to go drag back speed boost. But I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay. See if we can get this back door. There it is. Different looks, man. Different looks. The offense is humming. The offense is humming. I'm right there. It should be... Oh, come on. That would have been the backbreaker. And I'm trying to get quits because I don't know if I can get... I'll get that disconnect happen once again. That was big. Should have been up by 12 now. Going for the dagger. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, good. He, he switched. He knows what he's doing. Okay, he sniffed out that back door. Ah... Uh, Slightly early, man. That's two back-to-back -back open threes that I should have hit. Ah, uh, that's an eight-point swing instead. Instead of being up 15, we're, we're only up seven just because I missed two three-pointers. Okay, he's going drop. He's protecting the paint now, which opens up our perimeter game. See, we got three good perimeter looks just because of how we put pressure on the paint. 
Come on. No, but that's clamp breaker. I love the offense. We're only up seven, but I feel like it's like a 20 point lead. I'm controlling the pace. I'm controlling the offense. Defensively, I'm right there. That's a great offensive quarter in terms of execution. Let's keep it rolling. Let's try to keep it rolling with our bench. That's a bailout. That should have that should that wasn't a foul, man. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. All right, let's let's keep our offensive execution going. I love that quarter in terms of an offensive execution. Back door? Oh, I forced it. Ugh, that's bad. That that was bad offensive process right there. I forced that one. Hello, yes sir. Push. Push out of that stop. Okay, we got across. That should be easy. That should have been an easy two. But I guess that's Mark Eaton being Mark Eaton. Four point swing. I should be up 16 or 18 by now, but instead I'm up four. So let's work on that. Offensive execution once again. Let's get Jimmy here. Attack the paint. There we go. Concerned with the three. All right, he's got that. Okay. Now I'm only up three, but I'm not concerned. This lead will pile up really quick based on my offensive process. See, different looks, man. He's used to me setting up my offense up top. So there I punish him by him maybe trying to make a read. So I just attack very quickly there. There's a back door. There we go. Offensive execution. None of these plays have been stick skill dependent. It's just knowledge of the systems, knowledge of the offense. I'm right there. Just to show you, man, you don't need to be elite on the sticks to be good at the game offensively. Oh, that's our ball. Okay, I'll take it. Mellow. Okay, there we go. That was Mark Eaton's help, but he refuses to go help off of Mark Eaton right there. I'm going to force that help out of him. That will open up a lot of our perimeter game. I'm right there. Nope. See, that's another example of good defense. Just the... This is the 50-50 ball going his way, and as a result, he got an open dunk. Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Okay, he's on zone. Yep, he's on zone again. Inside out. Inside out. Gotta work both ways. Put pressure in the paint. It will open up your perimeter game. Trust me. Run your plays. It will confuse the heck out of him. Oh, no. See, he's not very good with stick skills. I would recommend him running plays or getting it to... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, Jokic. Just a matter of time before, you know, this avalanche comes. Got momentum our way. Look at where I'm shading him. I'm shading him towards help. Shading him towards the busy side of the floor. The help was there. That's good defensive process, man. I'm right there. Excellent defense. Oh. Again, his offense is primarily being bailed out. Offensive rebounds, 50-50 balls. Space this out correctly. Backdoor isn't there. Let's go into a handoff. Again, improvisation out of that freelance. The first option wasn't there. We go into a handoff and then attack off the dribble. That's great defense. Shaded him towards the help. He had one pass to make. That, that wasn't it.
This offensive execution is immaculate, man. See, I haven't seen it. I haven't shown the sauce yet. See, that's an example of me pressing up because he's hit a few of those drag back threes. So you just got to take what you can, you know, you want to give some things up in certain situations. Okay, so now he's sagging off us a little bit. Oh, but we give him a different look. We give him a different look out of that curl play instead of going, uh, AK going to the three-point line, attacking the mid-range into the paint. Let's push this. Oh, no. 21 delay. Absolutely immaculate offensive execution. No stick skills so far in this game. Absolutely nothing crazy from a stick perspective. But this shows you that all you need. And this is against what I think is someone that is an experienced unlimited player. Oh, that's a good, that's a good read. But he hasn't seen these types of actions before. Offensive process has been great, man. I told you, based on my knowledge of, you know, the pace. And now he's been defending me. It was only a matter of time. I don't like the action right here. So we're going into a pick and roll. That's easy. Oh, no, I missed that. I never. Oh, no, I never missed that. Uh, let me get back to my D-book mojo. I, I missed a step back. I got to make one next. Hit him with a simple crossover. There we go. That should be a make. Okay. I still got it. I still got it with book. Uh-uh. I can't be missing those step back threes. Come on. There. No. Drag back. Okay. I thought he was going speed boost. Ah. It's 50-50 decision making. Okay. Let's go for this curl play. Oh, the defense isn't there, which means we're shooting a three. A little bit too easy. A little bit too easy. Okay, let's get Tim Thomas here. Got good defense, but man... You can't take away one thing from me and not expect another. Ash's familiarity with the stick skills right there. He defended the play really well, but that's the that's my point. You gotta be diverse with your offense. They take away your offensive actions out of your place. You gotta be able to counter with your knowledge of moves. Simple up and under. Defense is right there. Defense is right there. Nope. Oh, oh no, I should have chased. Defense is right there. Nope. Nope. Oh, I should have jumped. I should have jumped. With one second at the shot clock, I should have jumped. I shouldn't have stayed disciplined there. Okay, let's get this action right here. Hi. The He's sagging off. Let's see. Handoff right here. Good defense. Oh, uh, that... That's good defense. That's good defense. Okay. 16 point lead, two and a half minutes. We're right where we want to be. Let's get our bench in. There we go. Just trying to make him pay. Make him pay for making bad reads on defense. He is pretty much wants to cover the margin right here. Let's try to execute. Let's try to execute. One last time. One last time. Uh, good foul. He would have been cooked right there. Let's try to execute one last time. If I don't get this, I want to go back into... Okay, nothing there. Okay, let's get into 21 delay. One last piece of execution right here. Zalip, there it is. Yes, sir. Let's go. Offensive execution. Absolutely immaculate offensive process. I'm right there. That's let's go. Can we get one more piece of sauce in? Can we get one more piece of sauce in? Let's try. Let's try. Hezzy. Cross. Okay, we got him crabbed. 
got them crab i got the lane oh yes sir we got them oh we got him yes sir just had to put some sauce in just because this game was more about offensive process so i just want to show you that the diversity in your on in your offensive bag is the most important thing you have to do or you have to be in order to confound your opponents confuse them make defenses keep on guessing there was not much stick skill right there. It was all offensive execution, out of freelances, out of place, improvisations, two-man games, some ISOs in the middles, in certain situations. But as I showed you, you don't need to be a stick master in order to be excellent offensively in NBA 2K. You just got to learn how to set your offense up, be patient, attack with different looks. Don't give the defense the same look every time. Be less predictable. And take your offense to the next level go watch my next level offense video and if and if you enjoy that video and if you enjoy this video let me know what you think in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one peace